It's rolling. rolling. Don't do anything weird on the camera. All right, I'm not messing with anything else. Can I, can I, can I do that? Can I? I'll let you grab it. Get it in the frame. I've always wanted to do this. Wait a minute. Ideal Glass Studios. Ideal Glass Studios. Sorry to use a Yaga. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, back at it again. I forgot. We finally came up with a title for this. It's called Working Title. And it suits the everything that we're talking about because everyone's always in um, development. We so. That's cool. Do I look at the camera or you? Right, right, both. We can. How do I do this and that? You could turn. I'll turn it a little bit more. But we use all the bloopers, so this is actually oh, action. Okay. Yeah. Um, back at it again. Welcome to another episode of Working Title, episode two. This is a series we started in collaboration with Ideal Glass Studios, hence the place that we're in right now. And um, this is our second guest, Ayaka May. I hope I pronounced it right. Ayaka you know, May. I said it right? Yes. All right, perfect. But Work and Title is a series we started just to kind of get into the subconscious of different artists around the city. Um, but I, artists globally, hopefully. And the whole purpose is to try to understand what makes people create the things that they create. And the quote that is developing is that artists have the most profound thoughts and it's usually that people don't get a chance to kind of get those thoughts out unless you, unless I pull you away to like some random bar in the Lower East Side and we get drunk and then they come out. But for the most part, uh, artists have the most profound thoughts and my goal is to try to pull those out for other people to consume, which is, Ooh. it sounds weird, but I just think that it's a, a gift that most people don't really get to understand what makes the pieces that they see. So um, again, this is our second guest, Ayaka May. Ayaka, introduce yourself, because I don't want to do anything <laughs> bad. Konnichiwa, Ayaka May desu. Aloha, bitches. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, rated, rated yeah. R, rated I think. Rated R. Yeah. yeah. Just doing me. So you're uh, obviously Japanese artist. Um, how long have you been in New York? I moved to New York um, like 20 years ago. Oh, so you like New York? You? Yes. That's a lot. So, so, so. So you like a, no no seriously you're like a a New Yorker. You I know. consider myself as New Yorker than American or Japanese or yeah. Japanese American, but New Yorker. What made you move to New York? It was I wasn't planning to come to New York. Yeah. Actually, I kind of run away from Japan, and this is where I land. <laughs> Why you picked the hardest place to come? Is it a hardest place? I thought it was the easiest place to be. Do you think? Yeah. You've been to any other places? Well, first, um, Japan was harsh for me, so my like decision was, okay, I have American passport. Yeah. Why not go to New York? It sounded cool. You could have went to Texas. No, no, well, no. but I, I picked New York, but I went to Buffalo, New York, not knowing Buffalo, New York wasn't New York, New York. You went to upstate New Yeah, York. nobody told me Buffalo, New York is not the New York that I thought <laughs> yeah, yeah, what yeah. it was. So, yeah. How long were you in Buffalo? Like three months. <laughs> I realized this is not the New the York that hit. I had signed up for. Wait, no. So, so you you uh, landed, you went to Buffalo, mm. and then what made you decide to leave Buffalo? Like, did someone say this isn't this isn't New York City? Yeah, because if you if if you pick a place in Japan, like Japan, Tokyo to Osaka, like different city, mm. it's like two three hours right, right apart. Right. But I did not know if you pick New York, New York to New York, Buffalo, it's like nine hours yeah. driving. It's like America was big. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know. So. That's interesting. My bad. That's. 
Mm, I feel like if I did that in, in reverse, if I went to Japan and ended up in some random place, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I, I would just stay there. Buffalo, New York was very difficult because the, I wanted to get a driver's license and yeah. still today. You still don't have it? I, I, I failed many times. I don't have so one I did. You I, failed? No, no, no. I just did it. I, <laughs> I, I tried oh, no. many <laughs> times, but then no. So I decided, okay, anywhere in America mm. where I have to have a car, yeah. it's not for me. So, okay, again, okay, New York, New York, let's go to New York. And then yeah. that's another reason that I moved here. I had two cars. Okay. But I never had a, a driver's license. What? I know, that's something. Is that York. legal? <sighs> it's not about, all right, anyway. Okay. <laughs> Oof. We digress. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's, let's backtrack to go, to what part of, of Tokyo? I say Tokyo, but it's basically, I'm in New Jersey of New York, New York, which yeah. is Yokohama. So it was like, you know, 10 minutes to get to Tokyo. Yeah. Yeah, but I mostly grew up there. Were you doing art when you were there? No, I was hustling or struggling mm. and surviving. <laughs> but I was always into photography back then. I had a Canon black and white film. Mm. camera for the whole time and then ins what insta camera like yeah. checky i don't know the what one it's called yeah like a polaroid but out? it was like a smaller version of the polaroid yeah it was much cheaper it was so much fun so i was into that kind of toys mm. so mm -hmm. you didn't you were just doing photography all right so this is 20 years ago that's, that's what 20 what is that 2003 oh, i don't know 2003 Right, Mike? I'm not good at numbers. Oh. <laughs> See? Yeah, yeah, so. I okay. was. No, I get it, because mm. I wasn't even, around that time, I, I was in an art school, but I wasn't thinking about art. Like, mm. like how people um, maneuver as artists now. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Yeah. I you might not remember, but there's no iPhone, like there's today. No iPhone. <laughs> yeah. You know? We had a different kind of phone. So then when you got to, uh, and I'll be jumping around, so don't, mm. this is like relaxed. Okay. Don't worry about gotcha. anything. If it's horrible, we're going to cut it out. <laughs> and then if it's the power fun, of we're going to keep it. So like this part, we're going to cut out. No, this yeah, part yeah. is going <laughs> to, I'm going to keep this because I want them to know that you're behind the, the camera. <laughs> but, um. All right, so you, you come to New York, mm. you realize that Buffalo ain't New York. <laughs> but I also didn't really graduate any school, so I needed to right. take GED, yeah. which I'm severely, like, have, like, heavy learning disorder or dyslexia, so I don't even know what GDE stands for. Yeah. The same reason I can't get the driver's license and everything because of the reading skills and writing skills. Um, so it was easier to give up. Mm. Mm. But now you can scoot. You can just get a, a scooter. Mm. A, a I already, bike. I already, no. Yeah. I already got accident many times. So overall, me being killed is okay, but me to get an accident mm. and like injure someone is not my intention. So. Okay, as long as you know. <laughs> I'm just walking around. That's why like my life is within like 10 blocks around yeah. Lower East Side yeah. and I never go out unless someone drags me out. That's interesting. Mm. Ironically enough, your piece almost feels like a vehicle. <laughs> so this piece that, that's behind us is one of Ayaka's uh, sculptures that I just um, learned about today. Mm. So we'll get back to this, but it almost feels like a vehicle in a way. Interesting. Yeah, because mm. it's just big. I would, I would float on it mm. in the water. Actually, I want to do that. i never done it yet. Yeah. yeah. So how did you go from, um, I guess, all of the challenges of being in New York, mm. the GED stuff, and then just New York in general, like, I still didn't get GED though. You don't have to. You don't need it. I'm okay. You don't need it. <laughs> now Everyone, I realize, but. I, it's like GED. I don't even. All right. Segue. Yeah. GED is like equivalent to 
how people tell you you need a great school to get a job. Mm. And a lot of people went to great schools but still can't get jobs right now. Mm. It's like that. It's like So I fit in the time right now. Everyone. <laughs> at, my mom like has like a super heavy accent. Mm. She didn't uh, I don't know. Anyway, people just make it. Mm. But the thing that I want to touch on is that it's it's interesting how New York being like one of the hardest from my perspective mm -hmm one of the hardest places to live because of the cost of everything mm. and like the fast pace. But it's always surprising to me that mm. the, um, the profession that is the most challenging when it comes to money, which is like art, mm. thrives the most in a place that is so financially driven. Interesting. So it's like a lot of people uh, some of the people that I met that came to New mm -hmm. York became artists when they came to New York. Mm -hmm. But it's like, this is the most expensive place to become an artist. Why would you pick New York? So I'm curious about like, what uh, made you become an artist in New York, even when you had so many other <laughs> things to worry about? Interesting. Mm, that is an interesting question. So, I basically never thought my in my life mm. I'm gonna be an artist. Yeah. I never thought about it. So, but I know I liked photography back then. I was like 19, maybe. No, I started my photography around like 13, 14 years old mm. for, with my dad's camera. So I was like shooting. I was very good at like doing black and white, developing like being artsy to, you know, discover my, like, self-expression thing. Or, like, in, thing. A, in a dark room? Yeah, yeah, okay. like, all chemical. Yeah. I like science, and I like those, like, stuff that it reacts to you immediately so you get to see the process of it. Mm. And I think I still do that today, same thing. But I never thought I'm going to be a great photographer or, like, I'm going to be a designer or I'm going to be an artist. I never really, like, think about it. Yeah. It's also not my wish today too <laughs> yeah. but I don't have a title for it but people call me artist so I guess that's what I am right in a sense and then you say like about money stuff but I did also interesting because I guess the focus is not to make the life with art right. is what my art in this case I don't know if I said it right but yeah I was always struggling hustling in Anyway, anyway, mentally, like verbally, like like the cultural thing. Now I'm a New Yorker, but I think New York is the easiest place to be an artist, mm. in my opinion. Yeah. Because I could not think anywhere else but New York. Right, right, right. Because just for me coming from the street and be street smart, I mean, you meet, you meet random people, putting people together and something happens. Yeah. I think New York was the best place to be still today. And that's what I like still believe or I need to get a driver's license to go somewhere no. in the middle, like someplace else, you know? The driver's license is connected <laughs> to the GED, it's connected mm -hmm. to, that's probably a whole, if you would have gotten your GED, yeah. you probably would have had a like, a I was going to be a doctor, I was going to be a lawyer or a doctor or someone more like useful in my sense, yeah. you know, to like save people's lives, so. Yeah, yeah, we good, yeah. everything? Um, battery is running low. Oh, it's a battery charging in the corner. But yeah, so, it's a little intermission, it's like a commercial intermission. break. I think the today is brought to you good. by <laughs> Ideal Glass. Ideal Glass is oh fractured reality. It's off now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, we, let's do that. Ideal yeah, Glass. We're gonna, the we're place gonna come back with our, uh, <laughs> oh. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> back at Ideal Glass Studios. I'm your host, Escoje, uh, and this is Working Title a collaborative series between Fusion and Ideal Glass Studios. And this is Ayaka May again. Uh, but yeah, we were talking about the weirdness of New York being mm -hmm. actually better. Where I, I get that, like, I don't, but I get more the conversation about artists not labeling themselves. 
<laughs> and I think no one should, but that's a whole different conversation. I think, but I, I want to kind of understand your brain a little bit more. Okay. And do you, you do you remember the first thing that you made? Yes. Actually, I was in elementary school. Yeah. And of course, the teacher will say, okay, do anything you like. Mm. And I made a flaccid penis, and it became super, like, I got myself in trouble, Wait, including my grade. parents. It was a flaccid penis with, like, a, what, clay? And then I needed to change my school, but then, back mm. then, I was like, but I followed the direction of what teacher told me, yeah. that I have a freedom to do anything, everybody draw rainbows or house or rabbit. Yeah. And then people make some kind of like clay house, you Why know, or you car. Take... I don't know, it was funny because I'm Japanese, <laughs> I take bath with my parents, mom or dad, both sister and everybody. Yeah. And then one thing I thought it's funny was my dad has something that I don't have. Yeah. So it was nothing sexual, but I didn't know what it means back then, you know? Yeah. So that's the sign. <laughs> that was the sign for where my life was going to be, which was a disaster. <laughs> oh, it's a rated R show, so if you wanna, if we, yeah. if you wanna, I don't know. I mean, but. I'm just, I was very curious to every, like, uh, you know, body parts of human, even myself to others, and it mm. was really, I was very into details of other people's, mm. like skin color, hair, texture, everything. And I grew up in Tennessee, so everybody was like super white, like in super Tennessee. white. Tennessee, yeah, Tennessee. Wait, hold on. I was born in Nashville, Tennessee. In case you don't know. Yeah, you were. I I am officially. That's hold my on. passport. All right. This is a new intermission. Really? We got we got we got. Hold on, because now really we got to clear up what the 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 earliest stuff. Yeah. Where, because I'm I'm guess because I'm guessing other people was probably thinking, all right. You from uh, Yokohama, so, and then you moved to New York, but not New York. No, I you moved. You went to, uh, what, what was it again, Buffalo? Buffalo. Buffalo, and then you came to New York, but that <laughs> is like an after story. Yeah. So you were born in Tennessee? Yeah. Born, raised, seeded, planted, mm. <laughs> everything. All right, so then draw the line from Tennessee to New York. Draw New the York, line. New York. Like you were born in Tennessee. Then well, Tennessee. Then I moved to California. Yeah. For a couple of years, and then I moved to Tokyo. Then I moved to Yokohama. Then I was sent to Utah for a couple months. Mm. More with lived with Mormon family. And Ooh, also, the plot thick. So, so, the so, plot so. thickens. So, so, so. It's getting. <laughs> and then went back to Japan, and then I wanted to leave Japan, so I moved to New York, New York, which mm. was New York, Buffalo, so I made a mistake, so I moved to New York, New York, and then it's been 20 years since then. Okay, now yeah. I can, now I can kind of see how you became an artist. Really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because. The Tennessee part? No, just all of those places. Oh. <laughs> like, mm. all right, from, and I don't label myself either, mm. but. I'm a fashion designer, mm. but I'm more, uh, I guess, it's, it's an art for me. Mm. Long story short, I think the reason why, one of the reasons why I got to where I am right now mm. with like pursuing mm. stuff is I was bouncing around a lot. Where and where? In Brooklyn. Oh, really? Like going? Like, mm. I was the kid that um, my mom was super strict mm. and she had like a schedule for us, but I would always find a way to leave and mm. go roam the streets. Like literally just walk around, go into <laughs> different stores. But the reason why I say that is like, I can see how if you experience that many states mm. with such stark, like such different cultures, how it could create an artist. Even my both, like my parents were both Japanese, 100%. They yeah. don't really speak English. But the closest Japanese thing in my house back then in Tennessee was Ninja Turtle. 
Okay. Well, you know, yeah. it's not like Japanese. Like, I thought Turtle will eat pizza in Japan that who has like karate, like That's rat master. Saying. Like, I, my, my imagination was there. And I wanted to be Japanese so badly because I know yeah. I am, but I know I'm not there. And then it was like, I knew I'm different than where I was, you know. I wish, I, I wish we could see an alternate reality where... Mm another Ayakame who went through all of those things <laughs> and didn't become an artist. Interesting. Because it's like, mm. to, to have that element of Tennessee and, and Ninja Turtles, and then to be in a Mormon, <laughs> to have like a Mormon episode. Right. Oh yeah. And then to leave that Mormon episode and be somewhere else. If, you, if, you did, if any other person did that, I wonder, what if they, they will be? also become an artist Interesting. too. Interesting. But simulation experiment, experimental thing. Like maybe we can try on somebody, but I won't. I won't recommend it. So your parents must have been <laughs> yeah really cool then. Like really, um, were they were they? I guess mm. strict or or open because I feel I wonder if. Like, how did that flaccid penis, penis. happen if they were I, but at the timing-wise, I realized I have younger sister, two younger sister, and then the middle mm -hmm. sister um, passed away. But when she was born, she was, like, a heavily handicapped, mm -hmm. um, autistic, and have a hev severe epilepsy, and she she's not capable of doing anything by herself. Mm. So I guess when I made the flaccid penis was the sign of me missing the thing that I was doing with my mom or dad, you know, yeah. make a boobs with the, like orange, like something that it represent adult, I guess, for me. Yeah, yeah. And I guess that was like one thing. It changed my like, what expression. This. Well, you don't have an example of that work anyway to show, because that's like for a few, Yeah, that was years like old. destroyed immediately by yeah. everybody's, <laughs> every so, adult's, you know. So your sister yeah. being like uh, handicapped and yeah. then your parents being super open to deal with her? It was like, and, yeah. So then what was the connection with the, the art piece? I think... Um, so th that happened when I turned five, and then I, I got another sister, like right after my middle sister. So I basically become a caregiver mm. to, especially to my oh, mother, because yeah. my mom was very depressed because she thought it's her fault that she, you know, give a birth to a very difficult child. Mm. And then there's a fight always with my parents, like violence was happening all the time. But I thought, and I was very strong and was be able to pull this like, you know, happy children to make sure that my sister is okay, my mom's okay, my dad's okay. So mm. I guess it start make, like pleasing people, you know, make sure that everybody's happy or at least relaxed yeah. was something that became more like, you know, it was my daily chore. Yeah. to make sure I get a space to be comfortable too, or otherwise I'm always being threatened from something that it's like very scary or something that you don't want to face to. Right. Yeah. That's, it's, this is one of those conversations where <laughs> we could make, we could easily just talk about this mm. for the rest. Mm. But my, my goal is to try to dig up more, <laughs> more stuff. But that's interesting. You... When you made that piece, do you think like, uh, were you thinking of getting in trouble? No, did you, did no, you... it was a happy expression. I was like, I can even make it. No, again like, did you today. did you think that your parents were gonna see that piece? Did I didn't you... even think about it. No, I was just a kid in the class. Like, yeah. like, okay, let's make something great. Right. You don't think about five minutes, you know, ahead of your future back then. You know, I was only thinking about probably my lunch, lunchbox maybe, mm. but no. I didn't know I was going to be in trouble. But then, so my parents took away all of my art supplies, yeah. pens and drawing pens, because they realized, like, I'm painting, like, a lot of boobies. Is that boobies? 
these days. Were you? Expression. You were painting a lot of boobies? Yeah, but I like it. I like anybody's boobies. Yeah, yeah. It's not like, thank you. Thank you. I don't know. I'm just making a connection. <laughs> it is. It is. Anything that it's influ like, yeah, I don't need to speak because you get it. Yeah. No, I don't. I mean, <laughs> all right. So even this is kind of touching back on the whole subject. Mm. The point of this is uh, like the profound thoughts is usually a subconscious thing. Mm. So like the art, her, she has some great artwork. Like that's like given anyone who uh, we're speaking to, the work is great. Check out her work. Arigato. I'm gonna put it somewhere <laughs> over here or something, but check out her work. But the main point is that there's a whole bunch of elements that lead up to making the work. Mm. And those things are usually super, super interesting. And once in a blue, I'll find out through like drinks mm. or being or like randomness. So now it's like trying to be deliberate and trying to pull that, that out. So we're going to skip forward a bunch of years to, mm. from uh, that to this. Okay. When, you made th when did you make this? This was 2016 or 17. Sorry, I'm not good at remembering like numbers. Yeah. But around that time. Well, so tell us about. <laughs> Actually, no, I can remember, but I don't remember when the the March 11th tsunami hit Fukushima. Do you remember what year that was? Probably 2017. Mm. Mm. But. In, anyway, around that time, because my mother is from Fukushima, mm. and it was the biggest earthquake, and the tsunami hit and destroyed everything, and my mom's siblings still lived in Fukushima, so we went to Fukushima to see what it's like. You yeah. know, my aunt needed help, so I went there like probably like two months later after the tsunami hit the place. And it was interesting because Everybody's scared of like this radiation yeah. because the nuclear power plant explode, leaking everything in the water. And I got scared because you can't see it. Yeah. You know, it's not like you get to see these green, yeah, slimy no things. Monsters. Yeah. <laughs> it was something that it's completely invisible. And it scared me when we went to a supermarket and then there's like the longest line I ever seen, like in my life, like everybody's waiting to get a fish from the fish market. Mm. And I thought it was weird because there's so many other fish market places that it's still open, but they are not making line for the, the, their stores. Mm. And if you go <clears throat> to the head of the line and look at it, what they're selling is, this is 98% radioactive mm. and it's for sale, you know. So basically, you don't need to pay anything to eat it's this fish. Yes. Because so it's they bad. marketed it, and I was like, "Whoa." That sound familiar? That's, yeah. That's that's everywhere. I was like, "That's crazy." It was crazy to me. Yeah. And all of the people are like already old, saggy, yeah. you know, 60, 70, 80, 90 years old, wanted to eat a great fish. The fish still tastes the same, even though it was radioactive. Ninety-eight percent. Ninety-eight percent. For seventy-eight percent discount, sixty percent for you know, thirty bucks cheap. That's wild. Like they they do this thing for marketing, and then they will love it. They don't see what's the real problem is because it mm. doesn't matter. You know, life goes on. Why worried? Right. You know. And they're probably thinking, I only got like twenty years anyway. Yeah. Because I'm old. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They were like, okay, great. This is free food. So that's why I made this fish. This is the shape of the fish, actually. Yeah. It yeah. stands up. Yeah, it stands up. Mm -hmm. You can twist it. You can get it on it. But it was um, the show called Single Action. It was about gun. But mm -hmm. Japan was more like all of those fishes yeah. were being radiated, radi radioactive? Ra radiated. Yeah, radiated yeah. fishes are like, you know, all, all in the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. And we're eating every day. So we don't know, we're, you know, yeah, yeah. I don't want to scare anybody because. No, it's you know. like everything, everything got something yeah. in it. But I thought, you know, we are already a weapon ourselves anyway. So I wanted to express it as being like weapon, yeah. being new, like transparent, 
the light, but still something that makes it look a little bit of so then scared. Where's the feeling. connection with the boobs? Well, and don't you don't you touch? Did you touch it? Yeah, yeah. You have to touch it to fluffy. know what's yeah. And I'm, it's <laughs> it's also kind of connected to. I mean, the thing that I'm picking on picking up right now. Mm. Maybe I'm reading too deep into it. Is air mostly? Mm. Cause like well, when you were four years old, mm. you like removed air from your art piece. Removed air from my art piece. Yeah, the flaccid. I don't want to keep. Saying. Oh, that's how you. Exp I'm like, all right, <laughs> no air, and then. Oh. Uh, well, it was never hard, so that was the first of all. Yeah, I never had boobies, anybody. Yeah, yeah, anybody like hurt me before my, you know, those time of the age. Yeah. So everything was flaccid, and the hardest thing was my mom's nipple, maybe not even the boobs. So, but I was a baby, you know. Right. So in between, but then you were doing, uh, yeah, we could get lost in that. There's a lot of, there's yep. a lot. <laughs> if I became, I evolved in that place because right. I get lost from not having a direction, basically. Yeah. I think the hardest thing um, right now in, in having this conversation is there's no, uh, there's no shortcut. No shortcut, I know. And <laughs> True. we could literally stick, every conversation, every topic we've had so far mm. could be a whole day. True. And five, what, 10 minutes? 10, 10? Huh? Oh, oh, word, 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 word. <laughs> well, that's connected. That's connected. But um, that's connected. The that age of 10, that's why. Everything huh? is 10. The age of 10, every, my life changed because my middle sister passed away. And I thought I killed her. How old were you? I was 10. It happened when I was 10. I moved to Japan the age when I was 10. Hmm. Everything changed when I, you know, I turned 10 years old. We don't have enough time. I know, we don't There's have so enough time. There's so much stuff. We do. <laughs> we it's don't. just for, for, for uh, <laughs> converting it into stuff that people can digest because mm. who knows? Maybe one day in, in the future there'll be a channel where a TV show is 10 hours. I'll try to make <laughs> it two hours about Because things life. are like content got originally it was one hour, like TV. Mm. Okay. And then now we, we got to a place where we're like one minute. <laughs> and then now it's going back, like the podcast is going back to longer, like an hour. Anyway, either, I'm like going on a tangent. Um, you are, this is here mm. because you're about to do your own show. Yes. But it's more like, it's not like a show. It's not like an exhibition for you. It's, it was like I wanted to just collect my artist friends to become a one big family. Right. So. I think it's interesting that um, there's like, there's a pattern that I notice with, uh, with, with artists where eventually they get to a place where their, the, their artwork, the next artwork, is the people. It's almost like performance art, mm, mm, where mm. they say they're not making a piece, mm. but it's actually a piece, mm. but it's in service of people. Mm. Um, and that's kind of like what I'm getting from everything that mm. you're building right now. So mm. Ayaka is building a magazine slash ba just basically a platform. Mm. Um, and in a few days, this place will be transformed to yeah convey her mind <laughs> so how, like how did we not get my mind but sure but oh man i'm all over the place i know guys but it, it's just so much because i already spoke to her so i already know more mm -hmm. but she disappeared she did work and then she disappeared for like a while 2019 and fast forward you guys can do the research but she Low key, high key. <laughs> I don't know if I should say it like that. She low key, high key. Uh, That's what died. art is all about, right? High but, or low. 
Can I say it? Yeah, of course. She like fake. She. Uh, I'm an open book too. So people thought that she passed away. So she was really like some people really thought she was gone, but uh, so figuratively and and artistically and all these other stuff, she uh, the work and the person that she was ended at a certain point, and then now she's back. And did I ever leave? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but that's that's mm. when you get to a point where I, I feel like certain artists or certain mm. people. Um, it becomes subconscious and everything turns into an art piece. Mm. So even, like, I felt that when you told me that you, like, you uh, did this thing on Instagram where it was, like, you passed away and mm. then people actually thought you, you, you passed away. I felt it as being an art piece. Mm. But I, I still needed to, like, make sure that I wasn't making things up. Um, I never made a statement about that act because... I kind of left it of everybody's imagination, but give you the insider story, which I consider you as my friend, so I'm gonna yeah. give you the story, which I did commit suicide. So I, it was the end. I was gonna finish everything, I had enough, mm. and it was my third attempt, mm. the biggest one. And then I told my assistant, please give away all of my art before anybody finds out oh, anything. Like I really did it. Oh. I was in the hospital. I'm still in my recovery and I'm still going to therapy. So mm. it did took me a couple of years. And then COVID hit after. So I feel like everybody's kind of in the same place where they feel like isolated yeah. in their own you know, place and mind. So I wanted to like put that back together in a place of where people can ask for help, not because they they have to, like yeah. more like casually. Yeah. Cause I think that's important. Right. That's what I thought it was important for me to have because I didn't have anybody to ask for help. But I, it was all in my mind, so I needed to just really finish it. So it became it's interesting because I survived. Yeah. <laughs> people clearly. helped me and thank you so much. Arigato. And at the same time, it was more like awakening again because it was my third attempt. Second one was horrible. The first one was awful. All of them were not, never was a good experience to me. Yeah. And I do, you know, have like severe depression for like 20 years, even, yeah. no, I'm not sorry, not 20 years, 30 years since I was 10 right. because of my sister's passing. Right. And it was all becoming like once. In 10 years, I realize I'm doing this thing to myself that at least I'm aware of it now. Hmm. I don't know what's going to happen for to the next 10 years. I know. <laughs> so that's why I'm building this structure of me having a support system. Hmm. And I just want to focus on that, than being like, okay, get the number on the Instagram or be famous or be a, someone who people want to like you know worship mm -hmm. that's not me I want to be real so who believed of my death and people came to my funeral exhibition yeah. from all over from out you know over this overseas yeah. and then for me I wasn't able to watch it on time who came or who didn't but um people my, my team were able to like capture who wrote what on the comment mm. and people don't know what's really happening. But I realized most of the people just want to be real or right. And I think that's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's okay to be anything. Yeah. And everybody's tension is like becoming very high because at the time the fake news was the thing. Was? Like, like it was a president's so like election time right, right, right. when my death came out was also like this is the extension of the fake news and she's a performance artist so nobody could tell what yeah. it was and I my mind wasn't even there I was yeah. almost going either that way or this way and I just survived so now it became like a myth so I now can, it's art now it's art now. but Luckily. Now, that's true. That became art, but that's also interesting because now if I really want to die, I can't die again. So that stops me right there, <laughs> in a sense. That's 
that's inter- interesting. <laughs> I can play on that a lot. Mm. Yeah, that's really interesting. You know. So in a weird way, mm. this is almost like the event that you're about to have mm. is, um, this is going to sound stupid. It's like a reverse funeral. I guess so. Yeah, I like that. Actually, it's a reverse funeral. Rebirth. A, a rebirth celebration. <laughs> but um, yeah. this is like, even us doing, having this talk, it is like that. Like, you're, mm. you're, you're, fin- you're starting to come back out into the... the I miss scene. it, actually. Yeah. I miss it. So what do you want to do for... for uh, all right, so mm. more backstory. Mm. The event is for your platform that you're creating called Tenten. Yes, ten ten. Ten ten has obviously some subconscious connections based off of what we just spoke about. Yeah. Ten 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 and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But it's going to be a pla- uh, a magazine. It will be achieving as a magazine, but my most important, like, what um, goal yeah. is for people to come together and hang. That's it. Right. <laughs> so. I just need to have an excuse so people can come and hang, and then we all gather That's and a have excuse. a good time. Because I know that we only have now and here, and that's it. Yeah. That's what my belief is, and I, I want to enjoy that. So I hope this can be consistent, that where people can just think, oh, I don't know what to do, or I feel a little bit sad. Yeah. I'm a little, so I want to try to like reach out to people, but not on the social media platform, something that it's tangible, yeah. local, and more, you know, things that... I just want to make more family without getting married or divorced. <laughs> That's a good one. And make a bunch of That's babies without one. having sex. Huh? <laughs> well, it's, it's Everybody's going to be my baby. Don't you understand? Like, all, so of, all of you guys. Like, everybody. Like, we, we are... Our, we are. Like, yeah. we do have... We inspire each other. We do. We I do. become you, you become me. I get a yeah. piece of you, you get a piece of me. That's how I know, like, yeah. what I was made out of since like very young and I think it will just reverb and continue and I want to be part of it right so existent is very important yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna stick around and then try to gather people to do that and then New York you know after COVID like everything is empty yeah only CVS and Walgreens are around even bank even goes bankrupt going away. yeah even the Walgreens are disappearing yeah <laughs> It's so what are we going? We have an empty here. Yeah. And we're back again. Yay. New York City. So, uh, empty, ideal glass sad, studios. lonely New York City. Everybody left. My good, you know. That's crazy that you yeah, say. My friend left. just just we had a celebration for her last night. Uh-huh. She's going to Cali. Why is the celebration? She should come back immediately. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't even know why we <laughs> celebrated because. <laughs> I don't want to give people to Cali. Like, I'm like, stay here. I mean, I'm basically stuck here because the driver's license. I can't go to Cali, really. Yeah, but, <laughs> all right. Actually, this platform, mm. based off of what you were saying, this platform, Fusion, started from um, me getting to a place in my mm. development mm. where I needed other people. Well, not, not needed, mm. but it just felt good to be around other people. Mm and build culture and build community Mm. and even more so if everyone else was interested in pursuing creative Mm -hmm. things themselves Mm. so then that snowballed into uh all of these artists coming to japan with me (laughs) um that's true you did it too yeah oh my so i have my my um relationship with japan is Uh based off of um it could be framed as a decompression mm. for myself, even though I, I, there's a ton of work that we have to do to, to get there and do it. But to go to the onsen and mm. chill and be around artists, that's different. So in a weird, not in a weird way, in a good way, um, Japan is now kind of like a part of my life to just com- continue to progress my art. But for you, mm. it's like, what's your relationship with Japan now? I always want to be Japanese. <laughs> this, it's unique to be like a... 
I love Japan. I love Japan. Yeah. And more I try hard or harder to become the Japanese that I have to be, <laughs> you I fail. Like, I, I don't know why. That sounds like a Disney know song. I know, but it's true, though. It yeah. is true. You know, so I kind of like, you know, keep it as my, you know, Ninja Turtle dream fantasy land right now. What do you now. mean? Like, like, you want, you because can go back whenever you want. I can, but then it's difficult for me to live there than surviving in New York. <laughs> Because mm. the communication skills are so different. Mm. I might come as a very rude and blunt person. I still am in New York City, but still, yeah. you know, it's a different, you know, reaction. And it's difficult to be around it. So it's a very tight, dense city. Yeah. But the loneliness is nothing compared to being in Japan in the middle of Tokyo just by yourself. Mm. Even though there's someone, some stranger right next to you, you know, even it's in the touching distance, you feel lonely. I couldn't live in that place myself. Have you met other Japanese artists in New York? Actually, that's no, no. Maybe that's what I need to look for. I want, what about in Tokyo? No, I never get a chance to go back to Japan to do any art. It's, it's almost, I, I don't know. Because I, I know, I know there's, like of course there's Japanese artists mm. and I would meet them very like once in a blue mm. but uh, American Japanese artists I don't as much but I'm just curious as like if that's because I, I know I, I understand the difference mm. of like cultures and um I like I could get away with everything because I'm always going to be seen as a foreigner mm. there mm. but that's what For I don't you, have. You have I don't. the pressure to be Japanese. <laughs> yes, and that's one. Of, some of my artwork comes from that. Like yeah. I dressed up in kimono so many air. times in the air, air again. <laughs> you got, air. We got to look into air. You yeah. want to be free. I want to be free, but I want to be that. Then I dress up in kimono, but I'm wrong. doing something wrong. So when I go in there, they're gonna point finger at me and say, "Hey, you're not. You're not real." And I was mm. scared, like, damn, these people don't give me brave. You're not real, like, you're not real Japanese. Yeah, because I'm not, like, dressing the kimono in the right way that you're I should. You're not walking in the right way. No, I don't talk, like, don't make up. Like, something is wrong. Right. And I got scared of that kind of, like, a little tiny, like, detail <laughs> that it's yeah. off to show that I'm not that person to them. And... It was it was scary, but now maybe I can go back and say, "Hey, this is what it is." But then I'm not I'm not going there as me be, being Japanese. Mm. Japanese. So. What about your art? Do you get scared? Um, I know the, the fact that Japanese art doesn't really expect except I'm sorry expect except uh, nudity. Mm. So. No, that's not true. Yeah, if oh, I, I like, if I show a flaccid penis sculpture, but what about they gonna, gun? I got arrested two times just what? to show my business card because there's a naked girl saying hi on my like tiny business cards because Japanese people love giving out business card like hi them, yeah. you know they do that shit and then so I made a business card that yeah. I shot a you know girls nude and then guys fully nude couple and they arrested me. Yeah. 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 In Shibuya, the biggest, like you know, the where what do you call that thing? The How did intersection. They, wait. Shibuya. So you gave you, you gave it to someone, and they told the cops on you. Yeah, and then the cop gave me yeah. my business because this is you, right? And I was like promoting myself. It's like, yeah, thank you. I'm a great artist. You know, I'm trying to be <laughs> Japanese, you know, artist. But then it was like, no, 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 no. So yeah, they that's grabbed me. me. Yeah, that's me. And then they grabbed me to the station and yeah. say, this is not allowed. In case you don't know if you are a foreigner, if you're Japanese, mm. you're gonna go to jail right now. Yeah. If you don't know, so I play the game, <laughs> oh. saying like I did not know. I just came from America, which I did. I was yeah. just staying there for two weeks, and I then that time I learned. Oh, okay, this is not, you know, this is not good here. Yeah, how's it, how we good? I heard beeps. We good? We good? Oh. Just that one, you know, okay. Right yeah. So. That's interesting. So I know that my work is limited in Japan unless I become more like legally controversial. So how do you feel about your work here? It's more free, right? Nobody gives a damn. Right. 
And but, I like that about New York. Hmm. Because hmm. if I take this to Tennessee, it's going to be a huge problem. All right. So I know New York is the place for me. As a, as a, um, I got to stop saying that as a artist. I got to find a different way to say as that. As you? Or as you. Mm. Um, I feel like, I can't escape the word. Mm. I feel like most artists, even if they say they don't, mm. do strive for recognition. Even in, oh. in um, being obscure and hiding themselves, it's still, there's still like a little shadow of, I want you to recognize that I'm hiding myself. <laughs> It's a questionable thing. Mm. It's like it's like to provoke. You easily provoke in in, in Japan, but New York is and so I used to everything. And I feel bad doing that. You know, provoke provocative. Like I get uh, that word used to my work a lot, yeah. and I do challenge the limit. Yeah. I do that, but then in my end. I want to be like an angel. I don't want to fight. I want peace. So it's something right. that I don't want to go. But I know that grabs attention. Yeah. But if you do it in a wrong way, it causes a fight. And if you do it in a right way, it causes harmony. So I'm trying to do that side. Do you feel the yeah. reverse in New York where it's like, damn, you guys are so used to everything that it's harder to provoke? No, actually, no. I feel, no. You're like perfect balance. No, 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 no. I feel like everybody's being a um, little less sensitive mm. for the provocative sense, you know, things mm. in a wrong way. Okay. I think we're trying to be too pro protective yeah. in a wrong way. I see that. Not many people saying hi doesn't mean like they're going to come get your wallet. Right. So... I think we're losing the opportunity to become more loose and more diverse and more, you know, yeah, yeah, more, yeah. you know, open-minded, even though that's what this is. So. Yeah. No, I agree. Mm. All right. So let me throw in some random social media questions. <gasps> uh. Social media <laughs> questions. Uh, all right. If you could um, pick your top five artists in any... In, in general, any category, okay, dead or alive. Any, any on social media? You mean like on the any, web, internet? In the world. In the world. Yeah, top five artists to you. It could be a singer, a painter, an actor. I'm okay. So here again, mm. I'm. I cannot remember names. Yeah. Maybe some faces, and not numbers. So it's difficult for me to even search. I need to ask how to spell everything every time to everybody. Right. So, but I know I was talking to about this book to Mike the other day about this Universe 25. Mm. Do you know who wrote it? Mm -mm. Do, do you know who wrote it? But it's about the book, about this experiment. It's sci-fi? No, it's, it's a scientist who wrote a book about how the mice will make a paradise. And mm. he did an experiment, well, like, you know, ex exam, like test for yeah. like 25 times. It, it, ended up, it ended up same every single time. So mm. it, he named that project Universe 25. So he's one of them. He's one of them, but I don't know his name. Look it up. Y'all can look it up. Well, Mike's looking it up, but y'all can look it up too. Yes. Um, all right, too. The second one was another guy who we talk about today, but I don't know his name. Yeah. Something Titi, Tati, Tete, Tutu, Poppy, <laughs> Poppy. He's going to do all of the... I know, I'm sorry. I'm not really... But some... But I was... What's his story? It's about how this filmmaker, I think he's a director, but he also acts in it. Huh? Jack Tati. Yeah, Jack so, Tati. It's about playtime? Oh, no, like, remember the playtime film I showed you? Wait. It's a one? movie. It's Jack Tati. Which playtime film? I can't remember. 
Jack Tati is a filmmaker who made a film in not, no, 1860? No, that's a lie. 1960. I'm really bad. I'm, I'm telling you, I put myself right. in trouble because of it. Look it up, too. That's number two. That's number two. You got three, There's four, three five. one. <laughs> it's always yeah, going to be like... I got, got homework. <laughs> right. I'm so bad at it. The third one. Mm. No, 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 um, Picasso, no, no. No, I don't know much about you don't him. Have to. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I mean, I seen his work, but is it he my five? No, maybe the top five. I'm the Wait, third person. You got two so far, so who's the third? Third one. Mm, George Carlin. He's a comedian. <laughs> okay. He's I'm a not, comedian. I'm not familiar. I, I like listening because I can't read and write. I like right. listening, but I can't remember shit. But I know that guy's name is George Carlin, which he died. D is he dead? The f or, I hope so. Or what? otherwise I just killed him. I'm no. sorry. No, I hope uh, he's no. not. Is he dead? I don't know. He's dead, right? Okay. Well, and some people still feel very much alive even though they've passed away. Right. And some people have and to And he's reverse. one of them. Like, George Carlin is one of them. So I like his comedy. That's Okay, that's three, four. That's three. The fourth... Hmm. What was the question again? I'm like a bird. I don't remember. You shit. remember the question. What was top the five. top five celebrity? No. Art, like artists. Oh, artists. <laughs> <laughs> artists you, now. Were you doing, all this time we were talking about Like someone, like Instagram per people. No, people, artists. Okay, okay, okay. But they were artists, the guys that you I mentioned. I think so. I hope so. Hmm. I don't know. What's the fourth one? Come on, Ayaka Maybe we keep it to I three can do then. it. All right. Yeah, three is Let good. Let it be three. Yeah. You sure? Of everyone in, in, in the whole world of all time, those are your three people? If you ask me the same question tomorrow, it might be completely okay. different, list, but that's it. how I roll. Yeah, I all guess right. so. That's it. Do all right. And um, last question. Hi. Given. Like, and this is about 1010, the magazine form oh. of 1010. So you don't like, do you like to write? No. So how are you gonna do I mean, why a book can be without a letter? I know, explain that. Why not? Some people like, should, I'm sure there's someone who's like me, can read and write, but will understand by looking at the IKEA picture to and how that's to perfectly assemble fine. the book, you know, is furniture. It gonna, is it gonna be, like, uh, what do you see it taking? Like oh, but the out? magazine, the Tenten magazine yeah. will be having many support. Is it going to be mostly images or mostly? No, I want, this is completely strictly to dedicate to a collaboration. Yeah. So it's not me that's operating. I'm just here to say, gotcha. hey, let's do it. Hey, let's do it. And then whoever wants to do it, it will happen. Whoever leave in the middle of it, they leave. Yeah. If, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. So it's more like, you know, strictly focusing on collaboration. So for the people who do not read and write, we have yeah. a writer who loves writing. Yeah. And that's how they want to express. I just want to have a platform that people can do whatever without being commercialized. I don't right. like commercials. High five. Right. <laughs> High five. Me neither. So, so, so. Um, so then, or do you, do you, do you think you know your next piece as an artist or no? No. Or you're not thinking about it? No. If you give me a date, like... If someone was like, I need you to make me something. So always when something happened, like all of my exhibitions, yeah. someone gives me a date. Yeah. And then they will say like, do something. And then I would just, just do something until the date comes. Yeah. But if and no one gives you no date, then it's just I like, don't do anything. That's cool. <laughs> that's a way to. That's a mm. good way to live. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. But that's yeah. the cool thing. I just want you guys to know that um, all of the work that's created by these great people, artists, have so much backstory, mm. and it's fun for me to try to pick at that now, mm. and for us to be in the space and to try to make it. It's not commercial. It's not commercial. This is still low key. This is underground. We're trying to keep it uh, as real as possible. But 
Um, aside from all of that, in the next, I guess, three months, if people just so happen want to come to New York and want to find you and want to hang out with you, of course, they can go to your Instagram, but you're not posting on your Instagram as much anymore. So where can Just ask around people, then you will find yeah, me. It's going to be strange. No one's going around you. Really? Where can I find That's Ayaka? how I find everybody. Where do you hang out? <laughs> right now, it's Ideal Glass. There it is. Here. Where else? <laughs> And also Lower East Side, my apartment. Yep. I say my ass from eviction. Thank you, everybody. Arigato. If you guys are in the LES, yeah. <laughs> and if you're in New York and in, in LES and you see her randomly walking down the street. It's hard to miss. Don't, 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 don't be shy. Yeah, I think don't be shy. That's what I, that's, if I had to get something off my chest, that's the thing that I don't like about um, people who, come into New York, like mm. new, new people, is that they Can I inform everybody yeah, one yeah. thing? Even though you think you saw me, please know that I'm not wearing glasses and my eyesight is horrible. Even if you had great bad. eyesight, you still... <laughs> That's why I don't want people to think that I'm rude, but I might yeah. be rude because I'm not realizing that you're sh waving hands for me. You just have to yell at me or grab me or something. Cause but that's that's what I, I mean. Know. I think it's a sensitivity that mm. I feel that it's a sensitivity that people who are not used to New York mm. have, but people who are used to like bothering people, they know that like there's no. Like, sometimes people are zoned out, and it doesn't mean anything. You're not yeah. trying to be disrespectful. Anyway, all that to say, <laughs> if you see her on the street, run up on her. So, so, so. Say hi and all the other stuff. Yeah. And then also, you hang out at the, uh, the Wednesday thing? Yeah, Wednesday. Every Wednesday, I gather people up in the story side Japanese izakaya place called Juraku, 121 Ludlow Street. Mm. Every Wednesday after 7. You have a place to come and drink and eat, and we have a good time. And that's where I plan things to meet people, and mm. this was also planned by Juraku, at right. hanging me at Juraku. So, so, so. Arigato. Arigato. <laughs> uh, so, so. Yeah. Mm. I'm not going to do no weird e exit, but we're <laughs> at Ideal Glass Studios again. This is a collaboration with Fusion and Ideal Glass Studios. This has been another episode of Working Title. Thank you, guys. Cut.